Three time. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Pane Vidra Beach, Florida, Alicia Fox. Hey, Alicia, Alicia. Well, you should have heard what Byron no, was saying quiet, about you earlier today. Quiet, Michael. I'm getting out of here. Good, thank God. Now the show can get crazy like a fox. Yeah, she's she's not quite like all your other superstars in WWE. She has some issues. Unpredictable, sure. I'm into that sort of thing. Mickey James! And her partner, accompanied by Alexa Bliss, from Richmond, Virginia, Mickey James! A six-time champion! Think about everything this woman has accomplished in her career, and then talk about her all-time great rivalries with three Hall of Famers, Trish Stratus, Lita, and Beth Phoenix. Oh, Mickey, you've got a list of great matches a mile long, but let's talk about her six women's championships. Mickey has an opportunity tonight to make a little bit more history. force is on Raw. And their opponents, first, from San Diego, California, Nia Jax. Hey, whenever Nia Jax enters an arena, whenever Nia Jax enters a match, everyone takes notice of the dominance that this woman is capable of. She's beautiful, she's powerful, she's dangerous. It's like a million dollar smile on a wrecking ball. Nia Jax is the irresistible force to be reckoned with. Here comes the war goddess. Her entrance is just as unique as her offensive playbook. we expect to see from these two teams here tonight? Michael, I fully expect to see these two teams put on an absolute clinic in tag team competition. That's how good these teams are. The tag team action underway here. Guys, the tag team scene in WWE right now is so impressive. And these two tandems are a lot of the reason why. Alicia Fox with the offense. That's how you wear down your opponent. Looking to twist her like a pretzel here. She's not playing any games tonight. Everyone better watch out. Even me! Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. 
Look, Alicia Fox is on the attack now. Look at this, right to the body. Well, if that's any indication, she's not taking any prisoners in this one. A blatant disregard for the rules here. During the rivalry between the Hardy Boys and Cesaro and Sheamus over the Raw Tag Team Championship, the teams became very familiar with one another. In June of 2017, the teams met in a two out of three falls bout on Monday Night Raw. The most important fall in a two out of three falls contest is the first fall. If a team can win the first fall, that sets the tone for the rest of the match and your opponents are playing catch-up. Look, Mickey James is on the attack now. The two out of three falls match to saw the Hardy Boys go at it with Cesaro and Sheamus was a throwback of sorts. Throughout the 1960s and 70s, championship title defenses and grudge matches were often decided in the two out of three falls format. Cesaro and Sheamus didn't waste any time and scored the decisive first fall after a road kick rocked Jeff Hardy. Cesaro and Sheamus wanted to continue their domination of Team Extreme, but the Hardys had other ideas as Matt tied things up at one fall apiece after a twist of fate on the Swiss Cyborg. After a swanton bomb by Jeff Hardy, the match broke down and the third fall was ruled a double countout. In May of 2017, SmackDown Live saw an incredible women's tag team match when Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch squared off against welcoming committee members Natalya and Carmella. The rivalry between these women got so intense that Naomi was in Flair and Lynch's corner, and Tamina was in Natalya and Carmella's corner. I think only a group as treacherous as the welcoming committee could bring Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair back together. Natalya's power set the tone for the match and gave her team an advantage. That was until Carmella's overconfidence let the Irish last kicker turn the tide and get back into the match. And then it was elementary from there for the Irish-born superstar. Naomi did an excellent job of making sure any quote-unquote committee nonsense cost her girls the match. Once Becky Lynch got Carmella locked in the disarmor, there was nothing for the Staten Island Princess to do but to tap out. And it didn't take long for that to happen. Alicia Fox with the offense. Nicely done. She dodges that one. So damaging. Look, Elisa Fox is on the attack now. Tagged in. There have been times in sports entertainment when unlikely duos have formed and over time they develop and bond and become an outstanding tag team combination. The team that immediately comes to mind is the powerhouse duo of Cesaro and Sheamus. After their thrilling best of seven series, I wouldn't think they'd develop into a top tag team. anyone thought Cesaro and Sheamus would develop into a premier tag team. Over time, the superstars realized that they were better as allies than as enemies. And when they combined their incredible strength, the results were something that couldn't be ignored. It was really unbelievable to witness the evolution of Cesaro and Sheamus as a team. We saw them improve every week and conquer a variety of opponents. To see the Swiss Cyborg and Celtic Warrior go from unwilling partners to WWE Raw Tag Team Champions was truly impressive. Now we have Ember Moon on the attack. Ember Moon is getting ready. Got a little something brewing here. I think she's clearly on a mission here. Nice. Shut it down. Mickey James really needs to dig down deep and fast. She comes up big with the reversal. Fantastic ability from Ember Moon. Here's her chance. 
Mickey James is in a real bad spot. Nia Jackson off the tag. And no luck against Nia Jax there. Oh man, she's rolling now. Ah, oh, she gets out of it. She has renewed life now, Michael. Alicia Fox with the tag. Oh, the reversal by Alicia Fox. Nothing fancy about that splash. Just flesh on flesh. Going back to Nia Jack's NXT days, she really displayed her dominance on her rise to the top, dispatching performers like Liv Morgan and Carmella without much trouble. I haven't been there for Nia's early days. I can tell you, she was milliseconds of Nia Jax. Big move, that's gotta be it. Nia Jax all but has this match in the bag. But can she follow up? Nia Jax, big move coming. That looks like it hurts. There is no coming back from that one. What if she goes for the cover? The pen's broken up. She's not playing any games tonight. Everyone better watch out. Even me! Mickey James is finding herself in some serious trouble here. The tag team partner has to be concerned at this point. Corey, you touched on this before. Part of it, tag team's ability to be successful is their ability to... Alicia Fox has on. Alicia Fox just brought the WWE Universe to its feet! She can close the door here. The human body can only absorb so much of that. I'm sitting here utterly flabbergasted that the official didn't see that. I just can't believe We're gonna lock it in here. No, she breaks it. Wow, she's quite the escape artist, Michael. Alicia Fox with the offense. There it is. Foxy putting those long legs to good use. If that doesn't end it, I don't know what will. Hoping to end it here. Two. Three. They got it. Now let's take a look back at these ladies in action. Hope everybody at home set those DVRs because that was a match you're going to want to watch again and again and again. Epic. I can watch highlights of that one all night long. One of the great WWE matches I've ever been able to watch. Here are your winners, Alicia Fox and Mickey James. That's a big win, although there was a moment there where I thought it was going to go the other way. With wins like that, there's no way these two should even think about splitting up. Just my opinion. You got that right, partner. Again, huge win here tonight.